How you doing? Um, there's there's a problem I want to talk to uh you guys about on YouTube and other uh people who like broadcast, do screencasts and interviews and things. Um, there's been an ongoing problem with Skype Five. Well, maybe previous versions as well. Um, it seems like Skype takes over my audio, messes all my audio levels up, and because uh, I have all my sound going through a mixer, and I have to have them set at a certain volume level. And often it will raise mine totally, you know, till it's distortion and everything else. Uh, it seems, uh, well, thanks to Dylan Combs on Let Me Know uh, How the Windows version goes, there's a way you can disconnect it where it won't automatically uh, adjust your audio, which is, I believe, called uh, Audio uh, Gain Control, uh, AGC. Uh, now, in Mac, there is no setting for that, so I'm going to show you how to... Uh, you know, to uh, do it, you're going to have to do a little bit of text editing, and I'm going to show you that screencast in just a minute. And uh, so, yeah, it, it totally take over my audio and mess them all up, because often I take audio from, uh, you know, two or more sources. So um, that's that's a big problem within in Mac. Now, Linux, I'm not sure yet. Maybe I'll do another video if I can find if there's a similar problem within Linux as well. So uh, let me go ahead and show you that screencast, and then... Uh, Hi, this is uh, Linux Cool Dude, and uh, I'm going to show you how to fix the uh, uh, automatic gain control on the Skype 5 for Mac. And uh, first, you're going to open up a Finder window, and this should be located in your home directory, which is in my case Linux Cool Dude. And uh, then you're going to go to Library. Okay, Application Support. And it's a little bit hard to find here. You might scroll over. You're going to find Skype. And I'm going to widen it out a bit. And then this is what you're looking for right here, the share.xml file. Um, you're going to click on it, right click, and open with. And you want text edit. Uh, that's the editing program you really need. And... Uh, Now it's in here somewhere. Okay, right here. You're going to open it with text edit. And uh, let me slide this over. Okay, what you're going to have to do is you're going to do a search. Because you need uh, some keywords. Okay, and find. And uh, this is what you're going to find right here. This is voice engine. And uh, I guess these are the settings for the the voice, I guess that's what you call it. And, uh, okay, right, uh, okay, you got the voice engine right here, and what you're going to add right down below that is this right here. This wasn't in here before. And as you can see, uh, you got to write in HTML format, which is uh, AGC, um, and you're going to set that to zero. I guess that um, cancels that automatic gain control within uh, Linux. Uh, okay, uh, when you do this, make sure you're not in Skype already, and uh, you might actually have to call through, because I, I reinstalled it, and I had to, uh, so when I reinstalled it, I actually had to put my, you know, my account number, and um, actually call, like, the testing center, and then it showed up. And once you do that, you go in here, you put it in here, then you save, obviously. Okay, I don't really need to do that, but you just push save right here. And then you should be able to run Skype again. And you shouldn't see it automatically adjust the volume anymore. So uh, hopefully that'll uh, help you out. And uh, there we go. Okay, I had to click on the right video source. Okay. Uh, now, keep in mind, once I did this, I did a couple of tests through the calling center, and uh, I actually brought up a volume control mixer on uh, the Mac OS X itself. And before, I could see the sliders going back and forth, uh, sort of like a compressor automatically, in, uh, you know, increasing or decreasing it. Um, this time, it just stayed the same level, uh, which is what I'm looking for, so that's a good thing. Um, hopefully, they're going to change this Skype 5 to 
put that in there where you can turn it on or off or uh, this text edit thing, you know, I didn't even know it until somebody gave me a clue in that it's available for Windows. Okay, and they don't give that option for Mac, which is stupid. Uh, so I haven't fully tested it yet. Um, when I Skype in guests for my show, we'll hopefully see that it won't do that. Uh, okay, till next time. See you guys later.